What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Booker the 988 coming as live once again to the power of the internet. And I know these videos don't always do so well. And I know you're not crazy about the travel videos. But I got something for you today that I think you're gonna wanna see. It is a Tussauds Wax Museum. And I know a lot of people are bored with wax museums. You're not gonna be bored with this one. This is the worst Tussauds Wax Museum in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And not only is it the worst, it's considered by many to be the worst wax museum in the world. And if that's not enough to get you excited, wait till you see the torture exhibit. Let's go. Here we have, I, I, oh, Steve McQueen. I was at a loss, but apparently that is Steve McQueen for those of you who have any clue who that is. Couple of presidents here, including Barack Obama himself. And that is Jimmy Carter, who was president when I was born. Still doing cool stuff to this day, actually. Jimmy Carter is a really good guy. If you look him up, Habitat for Humanity. You can say whatever you want about any of the other presidents, but that guy, kind of golden. Pope John Paul II is here to welcome you to this display, including the man himself. No jokes. Nothing really weird to say about it, but just seeing that in real life is definitely, definitely is different. Allow me to invite you to dinner. A very epic dinner, or I would call it a supper. This is a Last Supper tableau. This and it's almost as if the man supper. knows what's happening. Over he knows he knows what happens tomorrow. In, in this little enclosure, a little bit of glass to protect it, is these creepy figures, and she looks like she's just seen a ghost. Possibly Al Capone's ghost, since we are in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And as far as wax figures go, a lot of the museums have more contemporary stars. This place, definitely keeping it old school. Jesse James, Frank James, quite literally in the middle of a bank heist. Join us now as we enter my favorite part, the Chamber of Horrors. Donald Trump, I mean, Alfred Hitchcock welcomes you. Oh my goodness. I don't think that's necessarily from anything. It's just terrifying. Oh. Oh my gosh, is that the Phantom of the Opera? I've never seen them displayed like that in any of these wax museums and honestly, I'm there for it. That's excellent. Well, that is one way to sculpt your wax. <laughs> I uh, would not recommend this place to kids, I think, officially. Um, it's mostly old stars and whatever the hell's going on there. Went from Jesus being tortured to just regular people like you and me. Some of these figures, I feel like you would see something like this, not normally at a wax museum or a haunted house, I feel like you would even see that at one of the horror conventions you go to. I feel like that's a prop you would get there. So it's a little more convincing here with the lighting, but I, I kind of love it. I mean, I know I went to this place expecting it to be bad, but that is really creepy. Wow. I was straight up in love with this museum. I was not expecting this. Pure excellence. Wow, I was so wrong. Oh, Mary Elizabeth, I don't want to go to a play. I need to go to a play like I need another hole in my head. Here we have George Washington with a picture so you know what he actually looks like. And uh, that way you can properly judge this uh, sculpture. Tell me how accurate you think that is. Also, fun fact, there's Napoleon. And here he's uh, depicted as fairly short. But in reality, he wasn't much shorter than George himself. Fun, fun fact. How history chooses to remember us. Teddy Roosevelt setting upon this very realistic wax horse. Just feels like it's eating an apple out of my hand right now. Of course, Franklin Roosevelt 
And Winston Churchill, would you believe in the back, Joseph Stalin clocking in at maybe four foot eight? And uh, Charles de Gaulle. I honestly, honestly, that's not a bad Teddy Roosevelt. Not so sure that Stalin was built like a child though. As we are in Arkansas, one of the very few places that still has some love for the Clintons. But as you can see, not much love because that Hillary is definitely a wax figure. Bill's looking chunky though. Not so much in the photo, but hello, Mr. Clinton, sir. Please do not call the state police on me. This wax figure is surprisingly accurate. It looks very good. They got a lot of things right. The hat, the skin tone, and of course the tiny, tiny hands. The royal family, Pat Nixon, Richard Nixon, over here with Prince Charles, Queen Elizabeth, Princess Diana in the back, and Prince Philip, of course, everybody's favorite prince. And if you're looking for that Goonies style rich stuff, here's some props, probably not authentic or, you know, worth that much, but replicas of some of the crown jewels themselves. Marie Antoinette with her head still intact, allowing them to eat cake. And of course, Queen Elizabeth I looking present. <laughs> I know she's dead, but you don't have to depict her as that in a wax museum. After Martin Luther King, and I'm just gonna be honest, I have never seen a worse depiction of MLK, including the roads that are named after him. They look more, more like MLK does than that. I feel like they repurpose like just a completely different wax figure. Wow. Orville Wright just kind of propped up against that tree and the famous Wilbur Wright pose that we all know him for. Lindbergh, of course, climbing a ladder as we all like to remember him. And that is one very depressed Armstrong. Love me tender, love me home, take my Now enter the section of the museum called the World of Make Believe, starting with Rumpelstiltskin. Say his name and keep your baby. Watch him spin that hair into gold. That is absolutely terrifying. And I am not sure she's sleeping. I, I think Rumpelstiltskin is going to jail. Time Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn have never looked less happy to be alive. And the author that brought them to life, Mark Twain, here acting like the god that he is, paint that fence, Huckleberry Finn, paint that fence. Tom, that was your job. <laughs> this room is worth the price of entry. I am just blown away by these props. But <laughs> the wax figures get real good from here on out. Oh my goodness. Gibetto's toy shop done in a toyish style. And that is one horrific Pinocchio. And if you press the button, he's coming to life. Look at his arms move. He wants to be a real boy so bad, but don't you let him. Don't you, don't you let that come to life. I am completely speechless at these king and queen figures from Alice in Wonderland. I, the proportions on these faces, I just, I, and why is there a trash can? And what is inside the trash can? Ah. I think that's the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland, standing at about two feet tall. 
I think, is that the Cheshire Cat? The White Rabbit, obviously not white in this depiction. And the Mad Hatter looking, well, mad. You know why they call them Mad Hatters? Because Hatters used to go mad because they were forced to work with mercury in the making of hats and mercury literally poisons your brain. And that's why he's mad. Not just because he's in this particular museum. It feels just like you're at Disneyland on the Seven Dwarves ride, except you're not. You're absolutely not. Of course, it's only $11 to come here, so uh, no one can't complain too much. But they call him, they call him happy for a reason. Because he is very happy to discover this pile of minerals. As is Snow White, looking um, almost human. Wow. That is a thumbnail if there ever was one. Good lord. Oh, it doesn't get any better from that angle. That's considerably worse. And of course, everybody's favorites, Dopey and Sleepy. And if you've made it this far in the video, I bet you're falling asleep. And I think this just been to be a, a random woodland animal that she called for, but could that be Bambi? Probably not. And that brings you to the end of this wonderful museum. If you're not bored to tears, like this video, do the YouTube stuff, hit subscribe, buy a t-shirt down below, love it if you did. If you want to see more weird stuff like this, let me know in the comments section. Or if you're bored, fall asleep with me and happy. I know that I love you very much. Thanks for watching. And I'll speak with you again. You dopey son of a bitch.